Now to campaign 2012. It's caucus day for Nevada Republicans, the first state in the West to vote in the GOP presidential race. The latest poll shows Mitt Romney set to romp to victory there. He leads his closest rival, Newt Gingrich, by 20 points, 45 percent to 25 percent. Jan Crawford and Chip Reed are in Las Vegas. First, we go to Jan Crawford, who's following Romney. Jan, good evening. Well, good evening, Nancy. That is right. I mean, Romney not only is expected to win here, but win big. And because he's got that kind of commanding lead, he's been able to get a head start campaigning in the other states that are next. I know I did well in Henderson last time. I owe you a lot. Thank you. Nevada is Romney country. He won here four years ago with 51 percent of the vote. He and his supporters are pushing hard this time with television ads targeting his main rival. Reagan rejected Newt's ideas. Campaign rallies and a celebrity endorsement. And with polls showing voters again are solidly behind him, Romney can afford to look ahead. Earlier this week, he was in Minnesota. How you doing? Thank you. And this afternoon, he ducked out of Nevada for a quick campaign rally in Colorado. Both states vote Tuesday, and Romney has the organization to campaign in several places at once, which gives him an edge. Now, that kind of campaign organization is important because Romney spent a lot of the week digging out of a hole he got himself into when he said in an interview that he wasn't concerned about the very poor, that his focus instead was on the middle class. That really knocked him off his message a bit, that he is the most qualified candidate to fix the economy. Jan, thanks.